All right, so the spring anime season is almost here. It's time to blindly predict the good and the bad this upcoming season. Now, if you're new here, don't worry. My past self will bring you up to speed. <clears throat> So basically, I'm not going to read the description. I'm not going to look at the tags. I'm not going to look at the animation studio. I'm just going to watch the raw trailer, no subtitles. Based on that and the cover, I'm going to try to guess what the anime is going to be about. If it's going to be good, fire, sleeper, mid, or ass. That's it. It's that simple. Also, if I'm talking about a show, it's probably because it's a continuation of something I don't watch. Also, coming from the winter anime season, I have some pretty low expectations. But let's get into it and see. Studio, apartment, good lighting, angel included. Anime girls doing anime girl things. Shenanigans. One of them for some reason has an angel living with them maybe she just inhabits the apartment maybe she just tied to the apartment or something something like that maybe she died honestly it's, that sounds like it's on the money but let's watch the trailer um seemed just like a pretty generic romance this angel appears on his balcony or she fell from heaven something like that maybe she doesn't remember who she is maybe she's trying to get back to heaven you know get back to where she belongs and over the course they're gonna slowly fall in love so i'm gonna say it's gonna be okay i might watch the first episode train to the end of the world maybe some type of journey to where the world is ending or they're running away from it i don't know it's, it's kind of confusing since they're like happy and they're like oh my god but then in the reflection you see this green lightning let's just watch the trailer hey yo 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 hold on oh, i looked wait wait whoa wait run that back you know you could have picked any other color you got blue i see red she don't got anything on her face you know i all right, all jokes aside, either it's an isekai or there's some time traveling going on because the world already ended and they're in their school uniform. So maybe they're just out for a walk. Wait, wait, I think I get it now. That storm, the reflection, you know, the green lightning. Maybe they somehow got caught in it and then it somehow transported them somewhere else. But it does seem pretty interesting. You know, the world is done. Nobody's alive. It's just them. So it's probably just trying to figure out what happened. But this could be either really good or ass. I'm going to say it's going to be a sleeper though. Definitely going to watch the first episode. Hopefully it's good. God's game we play and god this seems so generic typical fantasy isekai some gambling going on maybe a tournament maybe i may be wrong let's just watch the trailer yeah i i've seen enough uh they're not even showing anything i just i have no i have no interest i don't care it's ass re monster isekai maybe he was reborn into a monster and maybe this world is just mostly you no know, predominantly just monsters this world of monsters and just their perspective and just a different side from your traditional isekai let's watch the trailer okay yeah pretty much what i said he got murked in his previous world is basically reincarnated as a slime but kind of stripped down doesn't seem like there's really much of a story seems pretty cut and dry you know very bare bones doesn't seem like there's much going on i don't know if i'm gonna watch this i'm gonna say it's gonna be bottom barrel okay i was reincarnated as a seventh prince so i can yeah whatever um the title on the cover is pretty self-explanatory let's just watch the trailer <laughs> All right, yeah, I seen enough. That boy is sexy as hell. That is a princess. That is not a prince. But um, yeah, very generic. You know, overpowered. You know, reborn. You know what you're getting. You know, cute anime girls. Check. Bad scene. Check. I, I, I'm gonna say it's gonna be. It's gonna be ass. The banished former hero lives as he pleases. From the title on the cover, pretty self-explanatory. Another isekai fantasy. The real question is, will it stand out and look interesting, or will it just be generic? Let's see the trailer and find out. <laughs> All right, yeah, um, uh, I've seen enough. Very generic, boring, don't care, ass. Okay, a little intermission. You know, I don't, I don't usually do this, but um, it's not looking good. It's not looking, it's looking very tragic. You know, spring season is looking very ass. It's looking bad. It's a bad start. You know, we're six in and four of them were East guys. And there's only one that looked potentially good. You know, that was trained to the world of the end, whatever, trained to the end of the world. What's going on? Let's get back to it. Bison wolf merchant meets the wise wolf. Unfortunately, I did get spoiled, or I guess it's a good thing because apparently this is a remake. I never watched the original, but but I've heard that the light novel is really good. So let me know in the comments, is this actually a remake? And should I watch it? A condition called love. Another one that's pretty self-explanatory. Seems very lighthearted and wholesome. There is that one kid in the back with a different uniform. Maybe he's in love with one of the girls. Might be a little drama, but let's watch the trailer and find out. Honestly, just a simple romance. Not much going on. Maybe the female MC sees the male MC for who he actually is. You know, just cutesy, wholesome romance. I'll give the first episode a shot, but I'm going to say this is going to be okay maybe good bartender glass of god this could either be comedic you know very chill or it could be in the same vein as something like death parade so let's go ahead and watch the trailer it seemed kind of serious a lot of character stories seems like the main mc worked at a previous bar with somebody like his mentor and maybe something tragic happened to them or maybe they just passed away and so he's just trying to follow in the footsteps of you know whoever the person was and he understands people well or you know he's learning to understand people better didn't really expect much but this definitely has piqued my interest so i'm going to 
gonna say this is gonna be a dark horse. An Arch Demon's Dilemma, How to Love Your Elf Bride. Oh my god, another fucking Isekai or fantasy. I'm gonna <laughs> myself. Let's just watch the trailer. Maybe it'll be different. <laughs> okay didn't hate it seemed like they both had trouble upbringings they were either abandoned or they were just orphans they were tortured so basically trauma bonding in the anime maybe somebody or a group of people are after the female mc and the male mc ends up protecting her so throughout that they end up falling in love i'm gonna say this is gonna be okay the characters seem decently interesting and the comedy doesn't seem too bad i'll check out the first episode windbreaker getting a little bit of tokyo revenger vibes you know delinquents gangs somewhere around those lines but hopefully it's actually good and better don't get much else so let's go ahead and watch the trailer yeah just delinquents maybe the main mc is starting a gang or he joined a gang and he's trying to uphold some type of justice around town maybe he wants to stand up for the weaker people the people that are trying to live their lives do their business or maybe he just has something to prove you know maybe just wanted to be the strongest i'm gonna say this is gonna be okay could be solid i'll check out the first episode a salad bowl Ooh. brother Ooh. How you doing? All right, how are you? Do you have a seat over in that chair, please? Nah, no, 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 no. Astro, no. Getting some zany, wackiness, nutty vibes. Maybe sci-fi? The character designs are very interesting. I feel like this could go anywhere. So let's go ahead and watch the trailer and see where it takes us. Okay, this looks promising. It's slice of life, romance, sci-fi, futuristic. The female MC is from another planet. Maybe she got stuck on Earth. Maybe she just visiting. Or maybe she just looking for something on Earth. But it seems like just a bunch of goofiness and shenanigans. I'm gonna say this is gonna be a sleeper definitely gonna watch it reincarnated as a slime season three finally a good isekai god damn it's been a minute since season two honestly i'm very surprised that this got another season let's just watch the trailer and see what this season is gonna be about okay so it seems like one of the nations going against you know remaru and his nation i remember the short haired girl you know the knight and i low-key remember her dog and remaru i think this was before he became a demon lord and we're actually gonna see you know how strong she is against him now and this is gonna be fire girls band cry this cover is fire really like the colors obviously music slice of life probably trying to follow their dream let's go ahead and watch the trailer oh very unfortunate i the cgi doesn't look bad but there really isn't anything interesting enough for me to want to watch seems like it's gonna be okay tone ball obviously golf she's following her dream and just loving the game of golf let's just watch the trailer all right so it seems like the mc's parents might have died and there's this guy who played golf you know maybe professionally and either he retired you know maybe he came back to the island you know maybe he lived here or he's moving here and it seems like she's gonna actually learn how to play golf and get better it's basically just a teacher and student story probably be some emotional things going on here and there i'm gonna say this is gonna be okay yata garasu don't really get much it's a historical anime maybe some plotting going on trying to overthrow the shogun or the emperor that's all i really get so let's watch the trailer so it seems like the MC is following some type of family lineage. It seemed like he was training to either protect his village and the people or he's trying to protect just a specific person. Can't really tell what the plot is going to be about. Have a lot of questions, a lot of mysterious things going on. But I'm going to say this is going to be a dark horse. Definitely going to watch the first episode. The Fable, Comedy, Ex Yakuza, or maybe he's pretending to be a Yakuza and maybe he's already in too deep. Let's just watch the trailer. I'm stumped. I, I I don't know what this is gonna be about. I I'm just so lost. I don't know if they're trying to rob somebody. It just seems like a bunch of goofy characters being dumb. That's all I really got. It is kind of gory, you know, people getting shot and beat up. But I think this is gonna be a dark horse. Jellyfish can't swim in the night. Seems like just these girls enjoying the nightlife, and maybe they don't know what to do in life. And it's gonna be a journey of something. Let's watch the trailer. But this seems mostly like a coming of age story. I don't know if they were already friends or you know some of them were friends and they know they met the other ones. And it seems like they're each trying to push each other to follow their dreams. So this is going to be an emotional journey with some lighthearted, wholesome stuff. I think this is going to be a sleeper. The yokai next to me. So you got this bird guy living his best life in this village. How you other talking animals? Is a goddamn dragon in the sky? Slice of life. Seems like something chill. Let's watch the trailer. Not really what I expected. It seems like this village is just a bunch of magical creatures and beings and spirits and this is gonna be an emotional story might be some dark stuff i think the mc's mom passed away or both his parents passed away and this bird guy is gonna be an important person in the mc's life i'm gonna say this is gonna be good shin kaleon change the world obviously mech generic school setting protect the world from some unknown threat yeah that's all i'm getting so let's just watch the trailer 
<laughs> I zoned out. Um, Jesus, I knew this looked generic, but golly, super boring basura. Hold on, hold on, hold, on, hold the fuck up. I was scrolling through to the next one. And I seen this in the corner of my eye. Hold the fuck on. This is getting another season. I thought this was done. I thought this was completed. What? Yo, low key, this was gas. For a music show, it's pretty fire. I don't even know what to say. I'm just blown the fuck back. What is going on? Loser Ranger. Obviously a parody on the Power Rangers. Maybe it's the Rangers that are the bad guys. Or maybe these people didn't make the cut to be Rangers. And so they formed a group to get back at them. Let's see the trailer. Okay, so I was kind of right. The Rangers are the bad guys. They're assholes. The MC might have wanted to be a Ranger, but he got stuck being a grunt. Since this is all a big show, it's an act that they just put on. I don't know if he somehow got powers or he got a special suit, but it just seems like he's just going to rebel, retaliate, take down the Rangers, expose them for who they actually are. Also, this is looking to be gory and brutal. Honestly, this surprised me. I was expecting this to be more goofy and just funny. Low key, this might be fire. This is looking like a must watch. Mission Yosakura Family. Protect this girl might be comedic but it seems like a bunch of shenanigans is gonna be happening so let's just watch the trailer all right so it's a mix of serious tone and comedic tones the mc's parents died and his childhood friend is part of a spy family or she's being protected by spies now the mc is gonna become one to protect her from her older brother or is trained in some type of training i think this is gonna be okay might check out the first episode grandpa and grandma turn young again so 17 again and not the one with zach efron the one with tia tamara and Taj Mari, but obviously romance experiencing young love again let's watch a trailer so they somehow grew a golden apple or golden apple tree and it makes them young a lot more comedic than i expected and it seems like they're reliving their youth doing things that they weren't able to as they got older you know just being goofy getting embarrassed and shy now that they're young again yeah this is gonna be really good might be a sleeper for some people but this is my kind of show jobless reincarnation season two part two hold on rudy has got that shit on i'm feeling that kind confidence oozing from him after fixing his erectile dysfunction problem. Let's go ahead and watch the trailer and see what else the second half is gonna be about. Okay, so it's more of the school life. Rudius and Sylphie being a couple, living together. Rudius getting to know his sisters better, learning about what happened to them while they were separated and what they're going through right now. Reuniting with this bald motherfucker, I forgot his name, is gonna be really good. Can't wait. Chilling in another world with level two super cheap powers. <sighs> another these guy you know at least i could respect that he already has a girl so the romance doesn't seem like it would be annoying or a problem let's just watch a trailer yeah just generic wasn't as bad as some of the other ones also i couldn't take that romance serious when the female mc is voiced by kagura but i think this is gonna be bottom of the barrel okay unnamed memory this cover doesn't tell me anything could be a pure fantasy or an isekai fantasy let's watch the trailer um i honestly don't have an inkling to what this is gonna be about the trailer just barely showed anything all i know is it's about a witch in a night going on a journey to recover some lost memories or something like that and taking down an evil call i do feel like this potentially has good writing so i'm gonna say this is gonna be a dark horse oblivion bad Battery. obviously baseball seems really comedic though let's watch the trailer all right it seems like it's a mix of comedy and some serious tones the two mcs are probably well-known baseball players they're probably pretty good and they just got to high school but maybe this school's baseball team isn't good so it seems like they're rebuilding it and scouting new players so i think this is gonna be good the many sides of voice actor radio maybe an inside look to voice acting and the whole process of it and the two main characters are aspiring to be voice actresses let's watch the trailer Okay, so the two main characters don't like each other and they're working on a radio show. I guess they're talking about voice acting and just getting started or something like that. And so they're voice actors slash idols. And throughout this journey, they gotta understand each other better and become good friends. Definitely not for me, but I might check out the first episode. Mysterious Disappearances. I like this cover, but I feel like every other anime season is like an anime like this and has a cool cover. And on the trailer, it looks decent and it looks kind of interesting, but most of the time it ends up being ass. So hopefully this doesn't disappoint. Let's watch the trailer. Eh, yeah this is what i was talking about the trailer was decent i do see the potential so it seems like the main character gets dragged into whatever is going on with these disappearances by her co-worker you know maybe she's really into mystery the call spirits and stuff like that and maybe she wants to solve whatever is happening i hope i'm wrong but i think this is gonna be ass kono suba season three it feels like it's been forever let's just jump into the trailer yeah, just goofiness, goofballs, wackiness, nuttiness, shenanigans. It seems like this season, a princess from one of the kingdoms asked for the help to fight against some type of monster invasion, demon invasion. And that's it. We're going to be seeing them run amok in this kingdom. This is going to be really good. Viral hit. So basically doing anything stupid just to go viral. Let's see the trailer. 
okay, either some type of contest is going on or the new trend to make easy money is just to get into fights and posting it on YouTube. So that MC is doing this because his mom is in the hospital. So he needs the money for her bills. He also could be doing it just to gain more confidence, not be afraid and get stronger, stand up for himself so he doesn't get bullied. Yeah, this seems pretty goofy, but I think it's going to be good. Kaiju number eight. I don't know anything about it, but I know this has a lot of hype surrounding it. Based on the title, it seems like they're just fighting Kaijus. Let's see the trailer. Okay, pretty simple. The MC was working as a cleanup crew for the Kaijus, but then one day a Kaiju appears in his room and for some reason goes down his throat hey, yep. and now he's able to turn to a Kaiju. So with his new powers, he's able to follow the goal that he and his childhood friend had of wanting to fight against the Kaijus and there are probably other people like him. Seems generic, but I see the potential. I'm gonna say this is gonna be good. The new gate, getting heavy Sword Art vibes. Let's just see the trailer. Yeah, cut this off. Trapped in a game or isekai into a game, whatever you want to call it, I call it Garbaggio. Demon Slayer Hashira training arc. Pretty self explanatory. Let's watch the trailer. Yeah, just Tanjiro training to be a Hashira, and we're probably gonna learn more about the Hashiras, who's the strongest, you know, what's the ranking. We might learn more about Nezuko and her situation. Since this is a training arc, I'm gonna say this is gonna be okay, but we'll see. All right, these last four, I either didn't have much thoughts on them, or they were pretty self explanatory. So let's just quickly go through them. Reincarnated as an aristocrat, just another generic, very. <laughs> Vampire dormitory, you know, just a romance girl with a harem. It seemed like she tried to herself, but then she gets saved by a vampire and he ends up taking her back to some place and now she's pretending to be a boy. Not my kind of show, but I think it's gonna be okay. Welcome home. Seemed like it was about a married gay couple that had two adopted kids, but maybe one of their past was coming to haunt them, you know, disrupt their happy life. I feel like it's already rare to see yaoi type anime, especially being married and having two adopted kids. So, you know, it's nice to see something like that. I'm gonna to say this is gonna be good it's not my kind of show but i might check out the first episode why not now on the other side you gotta whisper me a love song you know just two girls falling in love and maybe the one that knows how to play the guitar wants to have a career in that but this seems like it's gonna be solid i might watch the first episode and that's all the anime for this season if i had to rate it i give it a 9 out of 10 seems very promising compared to the winter season this is looking like a strong start now let me know your thoughts in the comments what are you looking for to the most this season was i wrong about any of these or just leave a random comment hope you enjoyed like and subscribe share with whoever you think might enjoy my content other than that i'm out